A volcano in Ecuador is showing early signs of collapse. The throat of fire, scientists warn. This is by Peter Dockrill, Science Alert. The Tungurahua, an active stratovolcano in Ecuador. It's an ancient mountain and that's picking up many names over the centuries. The indigenous tongue of the Quechua people, the name means throat of fire. That's the actual translation of the volcano's name, the throat of fire volcano. Others say that Tungurahua is Chica for crater, and one nickname is the Black Giant. And somebody, something everyone can agree on is that this old volcano has been a danger for a very long time, although the latest rumblings signify a menace greater than any ordinary eruption. According to new analysis, this Tungurahua volcano may be showing early warning signs that it could be a catastrophic structural collapse. Is thought to be due to instabilities because of the damage of ongoing magma activity inside the volcano. Geophysical volcanologist James Hickey from University of Exeter in the UK says, using satellite data, we've observed very rapid deformation of Tungurahua's west flank, which our research suggests is caused by imbalances between the magma being supplied and the magma being erupted. Tungurahua has been persistently active since 1999, but if 20 years of relative frequent eruption seems like a long time, it's not, at least not in the lifespan of this very long-lived volcano, they said. It's actually on its third life, having already endured two of these structural collapses, triggered by eruptions, of course. The Tungurahua edifice collapsed sometimes around the end of the late Pleistocene, for thousands of years, the volcano then slowly started growing, rebuilding itself inside the remains of its original caldera. Then, about 3,000 years ago, the Tungurahua II led forth with another eruption, with another partial collapse of the west flank. And when the sides of the volcanoes give way like this, massive landslides can result, with avalanches of rock traveling up to tens of kilometers. The collapse 3,000 years ago was believed to have unleashed a debris avalanche laying ruin to the area of some 80 square kilometers, that's over 11,000 football fields in size. Now given the, sing the single eruption in 1999, that forced the evacuation of 25,000 people in nearby areas, and we can't understand the threat an actual flank collapse could pose to this volcano's neighbors. Now, according to Hickey and his team, the modeling of this volcano is a significant surface deformation on the Tangarawa's west flank. Temporarily, uh, temporarily uplift is taking place of about three and a half centimeters, resulting from recent volcanic activity. And it suggests that a collapse could occur if the stresses do not stop, do not uh, abate. He says, the authors write in their paper, shallow and rapid repressurization from this inclined deformation source can generate shear stress along the collapse surface, which increases with greater volumes of magma. They said this may contribute to slope instability during further unrest episodes and promote flank failure with general ap application to other volcanoes worldwide displaying asymmetric deformation patterns. Now the researchers believe that their study is no prediction of certain doom, if anything, they say that this could help us monitor what's going on with these processes, and that way they can try to understand ahead of time what future conditions might trigger a catastrophe such as this. Magma supply is one of the number of factors that cause contribute to volcanic flank instability. So while there is a risk of possible flank collapse, the uncertainty of these natural systems also means it could remain stable. This is uh, on uh, reported on Earth and Planetary Science Letters, and they're on Science Alert.